What is going on guys? And today we're gonna to be testing out the CCV or PCV or crankcase well. Uh, apparently this is the BMW X5 2007. It has N52 engine and 52K to be sure. But uh, some times ago I replaced that uh, PCV valve itself and it cost me 20 bucks and I had that video. So check it out here in the cards in the description or at the end of the video. But what is going on with it? So sometimes it dries out, sometimes the dead spring is getting the tension and sometimes we have an uh, air leak or a hole in there because it's so dry. So we can test it out uh, for the vacuum leaks with that pump. However, if there are gonna be a spring problem or the actual seal gonna be dried out, pretty much uh, there is no way you're gonna find out even if it don't have leak, uh, external leak, you're gonna be having the internal leak, which is not good as well because it's supposed to separate the uh, engine, uh, gases, whatever stuff going on in there or combustion gases which is getting inside of the engine and that valve uh, getting all those gases and basically recirculate them somehow and the valve in there for the reason of separating the oil and the gases because there is there are lots of process going on in there anyway i replaced mine i went with the cheap way and replaced it uh, with the silicon with the gasket itself and i just crack it open uh, pop the new gasket in there put some silicon and there you have it in a real case scenario you have to replace whole engine car after all, let's uh, go ahead and test it out at the beauty and see what is going on with it. Popping the hood. So first we wanted to remove the engine car. Two T30 at the front and one at the back. Usually the back one is missing because nobody give a SA about that. Then we're not going to be able just to just pull it out the car because there are LPs going behind the intake or the air filter. So what do you want to do is basically pop it up the air filter. In this case, you can lift the cover and pull it out somehow. At the end of the engine, in between of the cylinder five and a six, we have that little cover here. And we also have that knob, which is kind of uh, whatever lock block. And there a nozzle. So apparently this is not a plug or whatever, it's letting the air through, but the main brain is supposed to move and it's supposed to move down. So with that little nozzle, we can uh, test it out. So I'm gonna be using a couple extensions. Uh, first one, which is just the regular nozzle and the really tiny pipe. The second one is gonna be bigger, which is gonna go to the actual pump itself. And the other side gonna goes on to the nozzle. It's pretty fragile, so make sure you're not gonna break it. And now we have something like that. So let's connect everything together. Okay. Let's pump it out and see if the gauge is dropping or so. And look at that. It's staying steady. It means there is no leaks. We can release uh, the pressure and voila. So for that little gadget, uh, we'll get you the link in the description below. It's roughly 30 bucks. You can check the vacuum lines or you can check the lines uh, for leaks. It's not the ideal because the vacuum basically shrink down the tubing and uh, it's kind of closing the holes unless it's pretty big hole inside of the some type of tube. Otherwise, the vacuum line uh, to check it out if they are intact, that's probably a really nice tool. After all, uh, I like to do the pressure test, uh, which is you use the compressed air, you use the valve, just special valve and connect it to the system and see like getting the uh, depends on what you test and getting the pressure in there and basically waiting if there is some leaks. After all, we have pretty good results. I know I sealed everything properly, but before replacing it, just check it out uh, how to test it uh, because I did the stupid thing and I suggested to many people and I'm really sorry for it. Some people had luck with that and some people probably did not because sometimes uh, that's not the case, that's not the problem. After all, I hope you liked the video. Please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. I'll see you next one.